Hey guys, welcome back to another video. So this is the final ISO release of the year for Pico OS, and uh, I figured I'd do a video on it that you guys know. And the new ISO is updated with the new 6.18.1 kernel. Now this should provide minor performance boosts and a lot of fixes for anyone using AM4 systems, AM5, so that's pretty good. Linux firmware was updated, increased compatibility with framework devices. That's because framework was kind enough to just send them uh, devices to be able to improve their compatibility with. Mesa is updated to 25.3. Uh, this includes things like AMD anti-lag and uh, I believe FSR4. The NVIDIA driver is the newest 580 and the newest 590. And Cosmic DE has been updated to staple version 1.0.0. Alright, <clears throat> the rest of it you can read. I will leave this in the first pinned comment where you can go and support Pico OS if you wish. I highly suggest doing so because the, the developers are worth it. They are... Oh wow. Oh, that's new. Look at that. That's trippy. When the frick did that happen? uh sorry i got a little distracted just then uh, it it's it took the purple from discord and applied it to the title bar it was just surprising all right moving on we will end up downloading pico s4 and uh giving it a go so we're going to go to the the main page as you can see they have standard isos they have nvidia isos and they also will have handheld isos coming soon now, most of you will probably get into choosing the GNOME edition or the KDE edition, but I can't do desktop environments anymore, so I'm going to end up going with the Hyperland edition. Then I'm going to install my own stuff to get my own dot .files to work on it because that's what I normally do. So we're going to grab the NVIDIA ISO. As you can see, it downloads fine. And this is going to make me very happy. Because I do need to end up reinstalling it because I went and I purposely broke it because I, I sometimes get really bored. Now, if you're wondering why not the Neri edition, I'm not a fan of Neri and not going to be using it, doing videos about it anytime soon, possibly ever. But hey, it's uh, Neri is also there if you want that. And I believe one day maybe a Mango WC or something else might happen which would be nice for those five fans that use mango wc yeah there's five of you i count it you don't get to deceive me man all right <clears throat> now i am going to be using ventoy with this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to my ventoy drive i'm going to delete the old one uh the old two of them actually because there was two of them and then i'm going to empty the recycling bin to make sure they go away and I'm also going to go into my ISOs and make sure that there's none in there. Good. So I'm going to go into new window. We're going to go into downloads. And I am going to move this onto the very root of the drive. Not in the ISO folder. On the root of the drive. And the reason for this, it's very simple to understand, is because it needs to be there. Okay? unlike these two things they can go to hell and never ever come back Zorin sucks moving on i'm going to reboot get this installed and uh, i'll meet you on the desktop i cannot show the installation can i can i show the installation i wonder a batman let's you know what let's try to do the installation in vert manager Alrighty then we're going to use uefi but we're going to be using the non a uh, version that does not have um, secure boot because I don't do secure boot. And honestly, I don't see a reason for it. But that's that's a me thing. Again, you don't have to think like I do. And that's the point of having your own personality. Yeah, it's wonderful. I just added an NVMe drive, as you can see here. I'm hoping it's the right NVMe drive. And uh, that's it. We're going to begin the installation. Hopefully, I'm not going to get a fit. And there it is. So this is installing into onto a real drive. It's sort of me bypassing a lot of things and uh, making it so a lot of things are also possible. So you can see the overall installation and how it works, okay? Because I know that could be difficult uh, for most people to run through and install 
and know everything. So instead, I try to do the best that I can. Never really gets appreciated, but if you do appreciate it, let me know in the comments. I am not from New York. Why do you keep telling me I'm from New York? By the way, you like that it looks like a... Oh, it doesn't look like that on OBS. So there's no flickering on OBS. That's only on my side. That's kind of cool. I'm going to automatically partition the drive. There we go. And I'm going to go to advanced options because no to that i want my xfs by the way this this doesn't matter choose whatever you want i choose this because it it makes my nvme run as fast as possible it makes it feel like i'm i'm using a modern system if you want this you'll that i believe did that does does refine do snapshots i don't know if it does leave a comment below let other people know but again i don't i don't do snapshots so and because I have MSI, I want to use the MSI compatibility mode. And uh, this is fine right here. You could skip selection and boot up automatically, or you can show selection, or you can show selection with auto boot timeout. It's up to you what you do, as long as you're doing what you're doing. So there you go. It's installed, or it's installing, I guess. Um, the install should take no time at all. And uh, then once we're in, I have to get rid of this nasty looking, uh, no, I'm kidding. Their, their dot files are cool. They're just not for me. Not really a fan at all of them. All right, that's it. That is everything. So if I reboot system. And there you go. We're going to just press force off. And I will meet you on the desktop. Okay, oh, I decided to do a little setup of this and everything else that I normally use. I don't know. I figured add a little bit of extra spice. So I'm going to download this. You can see there's install packages uh, underscore Pico OS. I'm also going to download this. And I'm going to download this. This is Bird's Nest, by the way. This is my own personal thing uh, that I end up using or everything oh god not thunar i'm not a fan of thunar don't like thunar very outdated concept and it's not very fast either well i don't feel it's very fast it may be fast for you but it's it's not fast for me uh at least it doesn't feel that way so i'm gonna just open this up real quick and i'm gonna just try to install packages Let's see what happens. What is it even doing? I had someone else edit this for me and make this, but I guess, uh, oh, there it goes. Now it's installing everything. Perfect. Didn't expect that to work. I, I don't know how he built it. He just built it from the other two, basically finding the same packages that I use in Fedora and Arch and whatnot and getting them ready to go. Ew, it just installed Firefox. Why? Oh, there's uh, there's DGOP. That's needed for my dot files. That's nice. I'm glad that it's grabbing that. That makes life a lot easier, actually. And it also makes life easier for the next project that I'm going to end up installing. Oh no, I could not install Zoom JPEG due to previous 23 errors. Build failed. Interesting. Well, Mutagen installed. That's nice. Make sure it installed. It did not. Uh, is go up a part of this no okay um i did end up closing the browser when i shouldn't have oh yeah we got a whole bunch of new stuff installed let's just move this oh i really really hate using uh people's default uh keybinds uh it ends up feeling a lot of mental damage to me because it's like yeah i'm just used to moving everything with my mouse and not having to click with a keyboard 
I really gotta implement uh okay, build from source. We're gonna try this again. Can I just like right click? Can there's no freaking right click, is there? We're gonna I gotta build deke off. I don't have a choice. Uh because if I don't have this, something is not gonna end up working and I need it to work. Oh, the installation completed that time. Okay, now I gotta install this. No pip installed. Okay, sudo apt install Python pip. Oh, ew, it's still doing that archaic outdated thing where it's Python 3 uh, pip. It's not something I really enjoy. we go so that is now installed and ready to go uh, I'm gonna make sure that I have everything else there's mutagen uh, I believe I should already have this that did not copy correctly one second let me try that again I hate this, this, uh, friggin... I hate this, this terminal. It's, it's really crap. One second. Any terminal you can't right-click in is just not okay in my book. Okay, good. It's already installed, so... I'm gonna just, like... Axis. Paste. Enter. Yeah, so I did not actually have what I needed here. Let's just do that. And let's do that as well. Good, 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 good. Exit that. We're going to grab both the hyper folder and quick shell folder. I'm going to copy them. And I'm going to end up showing this right here so we can go into config. I'm going to delete AGS. I'm going to delete hyper. I'm going to delete Pika bar. And Rofi can get bent as well. I can hate Rofi. I don't hate it. It's just annoying. All right. There we go. It's installed. I'll be right back. All right. Now that the installation is done and we have everything where we need it to be, Honestly, I can just go to messing around and doing whatever I want. I don't know. I figured this would just be a video to do and have fun with because, you know, it's nice to do little update videos like this and it's been a while. So now I might actually go stream with this and get it all set up there uh, for the most part because I guess it would be nice to do so. Get rid of you. Keep you, don't need you. I might make you there. Go put you in the... Uh, the bottom left. Yeah. Now, magic. Done. I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed uh, me doing this, putting everything together, you guys seeing how everything went together. Uh, it was definitely fun to make happen because i do like installing uh new versions of operating systems i do it constantly because again you'll always find something new and uh you'll always learn something new is what you want and it just helps somebody some way that's the fun part let's just do that so we're all about the 50 bam yeah, there we go. And we're going to turn off float bar and rounded corners. And no background is going off. And I can live with this. And you live with this. That's the real question. What do you think of Pico OS? Uh, if you've used it, that is. I want to know. If not, uh, I would like to know what would you want out of it, right? Because... 
after that installation, you have Steam, you have Heroic Game Launcher, you have OBS if you install it, you have a Drive Manager, Kernel Manager, an Updater, all GUI applications to make life a lot better for everyone, in fact. Links will be in the description below. Bye, everybody.